BBC Radio Manchester. Now I'm going to be speaking to the lovely Joe McEldry next on BBC Radio Manchester. You can see him this weekend at the Lowry in Salford. He's touring his Saturday Night at the Movies album. Uh, it covers, you guessed it, from movie songs. So let's have a listen to this. I can't wait to hear this. This is from Dirty Dancing. I've had the time in my life. Joe McEldry. Now I... Fantastic. Joe McEldry with... Kerry Ellis singing I've Had the Time of My Life. You recognise the song, of course, from Dirty Dancing. Um, his new album is called Saturday Night at the Movies, uh, and he's touring it as well. Uh, now, I can't believe all this is correct written down here. He won X Factor, done, tick. He won Pop Star, the Opera Star, Pop Star 2 Opera Star, and The Jump. What a talented man, and he's only with me this afternoon. It's Joe McEldry. Hi, Joe. Hello, how are you? Well, I'm very well. What a thrill. Did you really win all those three TV programmes? I did, I did. <laughs> Do you have um, to pinch no yourself some? <laughs> no cheating. You can't really cheat at... Well, you could cheat. I don't think you could cheat at singing or ski jumping, really, can you? Do you have to pinch Not yourself really. sometimes and think, gosh, I've done rather well, haven't I? Yeah, it's been, um, it's been a very diverse eight years, shall I say. I've had lots of very different experiences, which is... I feel quite lucky, you know. Those TV shows have all brought kind of very, very different areas of my career into kind of one, which has been a, which has been, it's kept things exciting, you know, and it's never been boring, shall we say. Well, no one can accuse you of pigeonholing yourself or just doing one thing, because, I mean, you've even brought out classical albums, haven't you? You've done a bit of everything, really. Yeah, yeah I've always kind of, I've always kind of wanted to, you know, keep things a little bit different and not just kind of do the same things. And also, you know, it, it's exciting for me if I do something that's a bit of a challenge, you know, and mm. not something... Instead of just kind of doing the same thing over and over again, it be, that becomes kind of easy in a way. Yeah. So, um, then TV shows certainly put you under pressure and push you out of your comfort zone. Don't they? Because, <laughs> I mean, there have been so many X Factor winners now. And, you know, they've had varying degrees of success, haven't they, all the different winners? Sometimes people that yeah. come second, like One Direction, seem to do a lot better. But I think you've done very well in terms of, as you say, just doing such a wide range of different things. It's like you haven't pitched into all yourself at all, really. Let's talk a little bit about the jump because, I mean, on a scale of one to ten, how mental was that? Like, honestly, one of the craziest things I have ever, ever done. Um, and, and one of the best things I've ever done. I mean, it was such an adventure in the sense of that I was, I was already out there on a ski holiday anyways with my family and then all of a sudden I got roped into this TV show. Oh. Um, and I was like, yeah. And, and, and it was really last minute for me because I wasn't supposed to be a part of the show. <laughs> Um, but again, I'm a massive fan of winter sports, so to be able to be a part of something that, um, you know, was kind of celebrating all of those kind of winter sports that I do as a hobby, but times the kind of fear factor by 10, it was very different to just going on a ski holiday and having a nice le leisurely ski. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, I mean, goodness me, yeah, I can imagine skiing is one thing, but you presumably you'd never done a jump before, so how on earth do you build your, your psyche up to, to cope with something like that? Well... I kind of went into, I went into, in, in a little way, I suppose, I went into kind of work mode in the sense of that I just treated like I was doing a show, almost, and like my nerves and everything, I just kind of channeled, channeled, channeled them as if I was going on stage, um, because I kind of associated all the TV cameras and everything with kind of, right, okay, this is just like doing a show, it's just like being on a TV show and doing your live song. And I kind of just treated like a performance almost, but I mean, it was very dangerous performance. If it had yeah. gone wrong, it's not just like forgetting the words or something. I mean, you probably have a few broken bones. Well, exactly. You would very much so. Is there anything you wouldn't do, Joe? It sounds like you're pretty much game for anything. Um, I don't know. I mean, I always, I get offered all sorts of crazy things and all sorts of wonderful things as well. And I'm always like, if it's something I can have fun with and it's something that I think people will enjoy watching us do, then I'll give it. You know, if it's something that starts to get silly and ridiculous for entertainment purposes, then I'm like, I, I draw a line on that. But if you're learning a skill and people can enjoy watching you learn learn a new experience, then I think it's it, it, it's great television. Yeah, well, there are some crazy shows around. I mean, you wouldn't do the naked dating one, would you, Joe? That would just be ridiculous. No, 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 no. I, I, that, that, that wouldn't be my idea of fun. Draw, draw a line under it there. Uh, so I think the last time Becky spoke to you, normally does this show, you were doing um, Joseph and his Technicolor Dream Coat. So any plans to do uh, more musicals? Well, I'm on a break at the minute, obviously, to do my tour. And mm. then I actually go back on the road with Joseph in September. Oh, you so are? I'm, uh, yeah, so we're, I'm going back on the road with that in, um, towards the end of September, right the way up until Christmas. We'll finish up at um, Newcastle Arena at Christmas, which will be incredible. 
Just in time to do a panto? Or not? No, I won't have time. We'll finish on New Year's Eve. So oh. And by the time I get to that point, I need a big holiday, I think. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Quite right. Well, so tell us what you're doing at the moment, then. So this is your uh, your most recent album, Saturday Night at the Movies. Talk, talk us through that. Yeah. What, what was the... Are you a massive movie buff, then? Is that is that why you decided to well, do this? Or you just like the songs? Well, yeah, well, doing Joseph obviously kind of opened up a whole new kind of genre of music. Again, you know, another experience that kind of opened my eyes to a whole new world of music and stuff. Mm. And um, Bill Kenwright, who produces the show and puts the show out on the road, asked if I wanted to go into the studio and make an album. So we went in and kind of picked all of our favourite movie songs and musical songs. Um, and here we are. It's just come out this week. So it, it literally came out on Friday and it's available now. It's yeah, oh. It's a very nerve-wracking but exciting week. Brand new yeah. then when I played um, I've Had the Time yeah. of My Life. So, But we've just heard yeah. that one. What are some of the other highlights on the album then from your point of view? We've got, we've got everything from I Don't Want to Miss a Thing, um, No Matter What, I've Had the Time of My Life, um, Everything I Do, I Do For You, Love Is All Around, um, Everything, Any Dream Will Do, Close Every Door, Show Me Heaven, those kind of Saturday night at the movies. You've got everything from them kind of big up-tempo numbers to the big kind of power ballads and obviously we're on we started the tour on friday um and they just go down so well because people know the songs yeah. so well and they can just sing along with them and they can clap along and get up and dance and then big kind of power ballads with the huge kind of them old school guitar riffs in and just with the live band it's just fantastic oh and kerry ellis was on the single that we just played it will she be yeah. touring with other people as well well i've got my special guest i've got ben ellis ben james ellis keith jack and um and Sam Callahan, and they're on the road with me throughout the whole, whole tour. And hopefully, we're going to try and get um, Kerry to join us at some point. I don't know, uh, you know, schedules permitting. Um, hopefully, she'll be able to come and do that because that's another one. You know, oh. you can't, you can't, uh, you know, it's a proper end of concert song that. Um, so hopefully, she can come along and do it uh, a couple of guest appearances somewhere. Crossing everything that it'll be this Saturday, then, because I think you're on at the Lowry in Salford on Saturday night, aren't you, Joe? Yes. Yeah. It's my favourite one of my favourite Oh, bless you. Thank you, Joe. Wonderful to speak to. Have a wonderful rest of tour. Uh, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for all your messages this afternoon as well. Avril rang us early to say her face.